see what is there in this question now a detector placed close to the radioactive source detects an activity of 260 becquerel the average background activity of this location is 20 becquerel the radioactive nuclide has a half-life of nine hours what activity is detected after 36 hours okay so what is happening in this question my dear friend these are very peculiar type of questions and we have to understand them properly what is happening here first of all the detector is placed close to the radioactive source why is this written there because this is actually a condition like if you're if you're doing these kind of experiment in your laboratory so it is advised that your device should be very near to the radioactive uh, sample because if you want to measure it correctly because as the distance increases exponentially the rating that is coming on that device it decreases although that is actually not decreasing isn't it like it's not recorded there so that is why it is very important if you you have to keep that thing very near to the radioactive material that is point number one point number two is that whenever you use that kind of a device to measure the count rate the count rate is very simple thing to understand count rate is number of uh, um, disintegrations that are taking place per unit time so which can be actually said that if you are interested in count rate count rate is actually same as that of the activity not much difference between the two okay so all the fair formulas for the activity they are basically related with the count rate so you can actually assume that count rate is activity okay and the other thing that i was telling you is point number two is the average background activity now what is this now let us say you are using a detector to find uh, the radioactive uh, uh, count rate like what is the activity of the sample and something but there are always background radiations which are always taking place from somewhere so the background radioactivity will also be there but the device does not know it which radioactivity has to measure so it would be measuring all the radioactive activities but this background activity is having a constant value so uh, let's say like there is a sample and obviously the activity is an exponential variable like this this is how the activity varies but along with this activity background activity is also added on it so when you are measuring it this 20 like because here they have taken 20 as the background activity so 20 will be added on it so we can say that this is your graph of the activity actually it was supposed to be this but now 20 is added at every point so even this point rises by 20 this point rises by 20 even this point rises by 20 all of the points rise by the same values so uh, this uh, new curve is not an exponential variation it's uh, something different so the constant value is added to all the points so to do this kind of question what we do like there is a method and you have to follow the steps and everything will fall in position so the activity as it is detected is coming out to be 260 becquerel this is including the background count this is 20 so first of all we will subtract it so we subtract it so the actual count is 240 now 240 is the activity which is undergoing the exponential decay so now the formula for the activity is valid on 240 it was not valid on 260 it is valid on 240 now the radioactive nuclear have the half-life of this you have to find the activity after 36 hours so we have a, a highly usable formula which was written like this and in all other different videos i have given you the explanation for this you can watch those videos to learn more about this this is the formula that we are going to use now so activity we want to find the actual activity of the sample and this a naught goes to the other side so that will be taken as 240 half raised to power total time is 36 and half life is 9 so it will be 36 divided by 9 unit does not make any difference like whether it is hours second minutes doesn't make any sense because both of them in the ratio they should they should have the same unit that is the only condition so 9 fours are 36 and 2 raised to power 4 becomes 16 so it is 240 divided by 16 so 8 twos are 8 threes are 24 30 and 15 so our activity is coming out to be 15 this is the actual count rate actual activity of the radioactive sample that you have kept there in the laboratory so your device should be showing something about 15 
but it is not showing 15 why because there is a background noise also you have to add this so your total answer will be 15 plus 20 and that answer is coming out to be 35 and hence the answer for this question will be d now point to be noted first of all this is the total count rate that was given by the device you subtract 20 out of it you get a new value which is a naught and from here you are going to find the a with the help of your exponential curves and all the formulas that we already know about the activity whatever the answer that we get you are now supposed to add the background noise there 20 is added so 35 so 35 will be the activity that will be detected by the detector after 36 hours including the background activity so this is how we do this question and uh, the answer should be d let us see it from the mark scheme if the answer given is uh, d let's see and yes there is it is you can see that the answer in the mark scheme is also d this is the proper explanation i have tried couple of more methods to uh, solve this thing but that is not possible this is the only correct method uh, which you have to employ Okay, dear students, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper two questions. All the best. Bye.